Getting seated will be our uh, fifth panel, talking about O-1B uh, visas, updates, strategies for Indian multinational companies.
Congress, Sean Mattal, who's the president, NASCOM has been widely uh, covered in the press in the last couple of weeks in anticipation of President Obama's arrival, that NASCOM member companies are struggling to get their member uh, employees in the United States, that visa petitions across all categories are being denied and rejected, that individuals are being uh, turned around at the border. Uh, CBP sent one of India's most prominent uh, lawyers uh, home about a month ago, which caused quite a stir in the press. And so we're in a tough environment. And so what my goal is in the next 10 minutes is just to, to set the stage for what the environment is, to dispel some um, uh, uh, mistaken assumptions about some of the categories, how they work and how they don't, and then to try to tee up the dialogue. Some of you are going to be talking as NASCAR members with Sam Tall and Amiga Soccer later today. There's an opportunity to have your voices heard. It's important. It's very important. The opportunity literally is tomorrow. Now, Monday, myself and four of my partners are also going to be meeting with senior uh, consular officials in Delhi to talk about these issues. So just to set the stage, I assume everybody in the, in the audience probably knows what an L1 is. Intercompany transferee, somebody's got to have at least a year working for the company, let's just say here in India, working, and they're going to be transferred in the United States to work for an affiliate or a branch or a parent or a subsidiary. It's that simple. You're either a manager or an executive. Those cases are typically a little more straightforward, especially if you manage people. If you manage a function, it gets a little more complicated. But most of the time, the cases are L1B specialized knowledge. And that's where it gets very complicated, because we get into definitions of what specialized knowledge is. OK? Next picture. Blanket. What's a blanket? Well, a blanket is a process by which a company can bypass filing cases with the US CIS in the United States, file directly at the consulate. You have to meet these criteria, all right? One year, three or more branches. And in one of the following, there's a misconception to file a lot of, of uh, uh, petitions, I want petitions. That's only one of the criteria. U.S. sales 25 million, U.S. workforce 1,000 people, or 10 U.S. petitions. I would encourage every company in this room, if you do not have a blanket certification and you meet any of these criteria, you should absolutely apply. Because it's faster, it's less expensive, and as we'll talk about, the adjudicatory standard is clearer. Okay? Okay, within the U.S., and this is a little thick, uh, but, but essentially it all comes down to proprietor India, and, and you know, I, I just remember the guy having long, flowing gray hair. It really impressed me. It looked like he was on a movie set. And I asked him this question to tell me, like, how can we argue? How can we articulate what proprietary methodologies are when you are implementing somebody else? And that's the basis of all of our L&D work for these consulting companies. Okay? Now, uh, let me just check here. Supervised by staff, that's all fine. Everybody basically understands the work, the, the, the uh, requirements of, of supervision. You have to be supervised by your clients um, and uh, about these methodologies and tools. Okay? Now, two years ago, 